Hey everybody, so today I'm on my way to go see my daughter-in-law, Amanda, as soon as I'm done with my coffee. And we are going to discuss one of her favorite things to talk about, so come check it out. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my home. Yeah, I and your actually, little essential oil station, huh? I haven't done a house tour yet, so that's okay. <laughs> well, now everybody's going to be asking for one. I know, they already are. <laughs> Do it one soon, guys. <laughs> this is my little oil station, mm -hmm. my little oil corner where I keep most of them. I have them peppered throughout the whole house, though, depending on where I need them. But my little roller holders, all of these are different oils. Oh, so cute. And you know what? I have uh, some of my essential oils in my pantry, and they just fall over all the time. So that's really a necessary thing. Plus it's <laughs> I need cute that. and hashtag aesthetic. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> and then this is where I keep most of them. Uh -huh. So I try and have all of them here. And then I have like doubles like in Luna's room and then my room and mm -hmm. different things like that. Cool. Uh, there's a black market for essential oils. So you shouldn't buy them on Amazon. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then you shouldn't buy them from the grocery store. Um, yeah, you should put your, purchase them from a reliable resource because not essential oils are not regulated. So there's a bunch of stuff in the oil bottles at the store. If you read the label, you'll most likely see it. If it says don't use on your skin or only use it aromatically, it's because there's stuff that you probably shouldn't have near your body. Where yeah. do you think um, is a good place to start? Like maybe the most important oils that you might you so, know, recommend? The, I would say just start with like, I don't know, they have a bunch of kits at doTERRA that come with like the top 10 oils you would like need to fight off like, it's like it's like your medicine cabinet. So like if you're sick, um, sleep support, hormones, mood, um, allergies, just like a bunch of random stuff that 10 oils can cover. But if you want to start even like smaller, I would start with peppermint, lemon, and lavender mm. because those are pretty basic oils and they can do a lot of things. Your, also, your go to oils, okay. Those aren't my go to's, but those are really good. Basic? Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's the actually like the allergy blend for like seasonal stuff right now. I don't have allergies, so I don't use it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you got Ted on those because yeah. yeah, he's got allergies. Yeah. So, what would be some of your favorite go to's? Oh man, I have so many favorites. And I don't even have all the, the oils. Oh. Some of my favorites, I should actually probably make a list because they change so often. Lavender is definitely one of my favorites mm -hmm. because I use it probably the most out of all the oils I use mm -hmm. because... Well, everybody knows lavender's calming, right? It's calming, but it's like, it's called the Swiss Army knife of oils because it's good for almost everything. Oh, I thought that was frankincense. Frankincense that was the go to the king of all oils. Oh, okay. So, this one is great for bruises burns, cuts, scrapes, sleep, mood, mm -hmm. cooking. Mm -hmm. It's good for so many things. Like put a drop in your iced coffee. Yeah, or in your lemonade. Yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty. And then balance is a grounding blend. So this helps to like center you and make you un unclutter your like the way you feel. Mm -hmm. this, this would be good for you right now. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm a little but nervous. I put, I put this little roller top on it. So it's like super easy for me to put it on. Okay. Now, is does that have other oils in it? I so mean, like a carrier oil, or you don't need a carrier oil so, with that? This is one of doTERRA's blends, and this has a bunch of other oils in it. So this one has spruce, whole wood, frankincense, blue tansy, and that's why it's blue. Okay. Um, blue chamomile and osamanthus. So do all essential oils need carrier oils, or? No. Okay. So lavender, like you don't need to use a carrier oil with it um, because it's, well, so there's a lot of stuff. Well, we should back up a little bit and explain what a carrier, a carrier oil is because some people wouldn't yeah, even know what that was. So not all oils need to be diluted with a carrier oil. And what a carrier oil is, is like fractionated coconut oil, olive oil, um, apricot oil, Avocado, did I say that? No, I said avocado. Okay. Um, yeah. So what that does is that it dilutes it so it's not as strong or it makes it so it can spread around a large surface, like your back if you're getting a back massage or like your legs or stuff like mm -hmm. that. But not all oils need to be diluted. But if you're using them on babies or kids or the elderly, they do because their skin is thinner. Mm-hmm, and sensitive, yeah. yes. So like I always dilute the oils for Luna 
my baby or mm -hmm. I just use a touch roller. What's that? This is already diluted. Oh, so okay. you can buy this one that already has fractionated coconut oil in it or oh. you can make your own. I see. But not all oils need to be used with the carrier oil. That means you can use the neat and you can just like, let's say you bring yourself. Like a drink. <laughs> You bring yourself on Scotch the stove or, <laughs> um, with a curling iron or something. You can just like put as many oils on to get that burning sensation to go away uh -huh. and stuff like that. Um, but some do, like the hot oils, like oregano, cassia, cinnamon, because that will leave your skin. Like that means that those oils warm up your mm -hmm. body and they could turn your skin red and kind of irritated. Oh, okay. But if that happens, don't worry. Just put coconut oil on top of it. But don't put water on it because water actually makes it go deeper into your skin. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So what oils do is that they, it's actually better to use a little bit of oil every day on your body to get your body, to give your body immune support and get your body used to it so they can fight whatever is going on just like daily um, instead of like dumping a whole bottle of you, bottle on you mm -hmm. when you need it. Um, when you have the flu. <laughs> yeah, but it definitely helps. So it, um, it helps your body get kick whatever you have faster, but the first time you use it, it might take a little bit longer because your body is already fighting something. Mm -hmm. um, so the best way to do it is like preventative. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit every day. So one of the things I think is interesting is um, how, would, how do they go about getting these essential oils? I mean, because they are so powerful and potent. So what's amazing about doTERRA is that they go to where the plant is naturally growing. So lavender is harvested from France and the mountains of Bulgaria, I think. Mm. Um, and then they have the people that live there. They, uh, they build up like these distilleries and the people that live there, they teach them how to get all the essential oils and how to do that process. So they're providing jobs and stuff like that and, okay. a, and a good wage to those people that live there. And so like lemon is sourced in Italy mm. and grapefruit is sourced in Florida. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's, I think that's really cool. And the lavender I'm sure is in Provence, right? Yeah. It's, it's, I don't think it's in Provence. I think it's somewhere else. Oh, okay. But I, I know to, they grow lavender there. Check. Yeah. 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 So it's very, and then they extract it somehow. Yeah, so a lot of them are steam distilled, which I'm still reading up on how to explain it to people. I know how it works in my mind, <laughs> but it's like it heats up with hot water and then the water forms with the essential oil molecules and then those molecules are put into a centrifuge. Oh, well she does know quite a bit. And then it separates the oil from the water so you get pure. Okay. Okay, well this was really informative. I'm really glad we got to do this. And uh, you guys don't forget to click like and subscribe. And thanks, Amanda Faye. <laughs>